What's going on? Welcome to the channel and thanks for checking out the video. In this one, I'm going to be taking you step by step and showing you how you can build this exact golf store on Shopify so that you can begin making money online. I'm also going to be sharing with you a product that I spent $894 to make back almost $8,000 on. That's a ROAS of about an 8.8. .8. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm actually going to be taking you inside of my ad account to show you how I had things set up and the interest that I used to get these results. And so if you get any value from this video, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. And so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> If you don't already have a Shopify account yet, the very first step is to head down to the description beneath this video, click on the Shopify link, and then sign up for the free 14-day trial. All you need to do is put in your email address, fill out some uh, pretty simple information, and then you can get signed up free for 14 days, no credit card required. So once you do that, we'll head on to the next step. Now, once you've signed up and created your free Shopify account, you'll land inside of your dashboard and it'll look like this. So this is the homepage and you'll, you can see all the different tabs on the left hand side of the screen where you can find pretty much everything that you're looking for. When we click the online store here, you'll be able to customize your store, do blog posts, add pages, create menus, uh, purchase uh, and add domains and a lot of other things. But I'm going to take you through the process that I use to, uh, to build my store from scratch. And so the first thing that we're going to be doing is going into the settings and updating all the legal pages. So we're going to head down to settings and then click legal. And once this loads, you can see here they have a refund policy, a privacy policy, terms of, terms of service, and a shipping policy. So the easiest way to do this is just click create from template, create from template, create from template. And so for the shipping policy, I actually have a script that I will provide you guys. I'm going to copy and paste it in here right now. So I'll have a link to this script and the... Uh, description underneath this video. But when you go through these policies, you, you're just going to want to make sure that you switch out the email addresses that are used here. Um, and be sure that you know, any of this text where it says insert information about whatever, you just want to be sure that that you know, all that stuff is deleted. So just be sure to go through these and, and, uh, you know, make sure that they're all updated correctly. Um, same thing for you know, all the other ones, the, the shipping policy should be good to go, you just want to switch out the email, um, which is right there. So you can go ahead and click save. And now from here, we're going to update the shipping settings. Uh, because the, the settings that the, the, the default settings won't, um, you know, they're not going to serve the purposes that we want, uh, because we're going to be uh, drop shipping, right? So we're not going to be touching the product that's going to be shipped directly from the supplier to our customers. So we're going to click manage rates. And once this loads, we're going to start by updating both the domestic and international rates. So I typically choose to offer free shipping across all of my stores because I've seen an increase in conversion rates doing so. I always add in the cost of shipping the item into the profit margin when choosing the sales price for each of the products on my store. So to begin updating uh, the shipping rates, just going to go ahead and delete the ones that are currently here. And now I'm going to add a rate. I'm going to put this to custom and I'm just going to put free standard shipping and we're going to leave this at free we're done and we're going to do the same exact thing for the international rate click add rate choose this to custom free standard shipping and done and then be sure to click save and just like that now when a customer goes through checkout they're going to see that there's no no cost to ship the item it's going to be 100 free and it'll, it'll appear that way once once they go through checkout so now once they get to that point they're going to be more likely to continue on with the sale versus all of a sudden they see they have to pay an extra three or four dollars for shipping maybe they don't purchase the item so that's why i like to do free standard shipping so now let's go over here to online store and we're, we're going to start to build out some of the navigation menus and as you can see here, we can update the footer menu and the main menu. So for the main menu, I typically like to have a the home button, a shop button, uh, frequently asked questions, a contact us and about section. Uh, so to begin building that out, we're going to have to begin creating some pages. So we're going to come over here to the left hand side of the screen and click pages. And the first thing we're going to do is add a page. And the first one that we are going to do is an FAQ. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this from um, a document that I have, and it'll be the same document that I will be sharing with you in the description beneath this video. So now that I got that, I'll copy and paste it in and I'll click save. So now we have our FAQ set up. The next, um, the next page that we're going to go ahead and create is the contact us page. 
So again, click add page. This is gonna say contact us. And we're gonna make a very simple contact form by coming over here on the right hand side of the screen and selecting page.contact and click save. So now you can see once we view this page, it created a very simple contact form. If customers need to reach out to us, it's gonna be very easy for them to do so. So let's get out of there. Now the third and final page that we'll be creating is the about page. And I'm gonna leave this up to you uh, to create, but you know, to get you started at brand name, we aim to provide avid golfers with the opportunity to improve their game while at home. And then you can go in and talk about, you know, whatever you want to say about your brand uh, to, you know, build credibility and trust with your, with your customers. So now that we got those three pages set up, we're going to go back over to the navigation menu and we're going to start by updating the main menu. I'm going to start by editing this. I'm going to call this shop. And again, we're going to have it linked to all products, apply changes. Always be sure to click save because you don't want to lose your work. Now, the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and add is the frequently asked questions page that we just created, just like that. And then I'm going to do the contact us page. And then last but not least, I'm going to do the about page, just like that. Click about and add and then click save. And now our main menu is all set up. Now we're going to go ahead and update our footer menu. So I'm going to start out with the first one being the contact us uh, page, add menu again. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the shipping policy that we created. So just like that. Again, now I'm going to go ahead and do the refund policy. And then I'll do the privacy policy and the terms of service. Boom. And one more terms of service. Add and save. So now our main menus and our footer menus should be good to go. Go to go check out the store right here. So you can see our main menu right here at the top, all of our products. Here's the frequently asked question page, the contact page about. So they're all looking good. They're all working. Scroll down to the bottom here and we can see all of the links for the pages that we just uh, added. So everything's looking good. Now we can go back into the Shopify dashboard and move on to the next step, which is gonna to be to create a free account with Zendrop because we're gonna be partnering with them rather than using Oberlo to import products from AliExpress. Zendrop is just much more reliable. They have faster shipping times, really good prices. You can do bulk orders and keep uh, product at their US warehouses. And you know, they just offer world-class 24 seven support. So you're really partnering with a good company, which means that your customers are gonna have a better shopping experience. And you know, you can really start to build a long-term brand. So. Just come up here and click sign up for free. All you need to do is put in your information right here. And then to connect our store, we're going to go ahead and grab our Shopify store URL. So we're going to copy this. And then we're just going to go ahead and paste it in just like that. And then click connect. We'll let it load. And then we're going to click install app. And now we're going to choose the free plan. We're going to select it right there. And just like that, we're all set up with Zendrop. And now we can begin the process of adding products from Zendrop to our Shopify store. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different filters that we can use to find those products. But since this is a golf store, I already have some products in mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and search golf nets. And I'm gonna choose this product right here. This is a really good one. It's an indoor outdoor golf training net. They have a few different sizes as you see here. We're gonna go ahead and look at the variants. They have green, black in size is one meters and two meters. And then they also have a few different hitting mats that we can add as upsells. So the product cost is about $52. When we look at the shipping, um, you know, international three, three bucks, uh, US $1.50, $2. If you want to do the express shipping in seven to 12 days, it's only $9, which I highly recommend. Um, if we're going to be selling this variant, $52, the shipping cost is going to be, let's say $9. So we're, we're in at about $61. Uh, this product is currently selling on Amazon for upwards of 100, 120 bucks. So there's a lot of room to make some really good money with this product. So we're going to go ahead and begin adding it to our store by just adding it to our import list. We're going to come back up, click the import list button. And now we can update the product name here. Um, but, you know, we can also update all this inside of our uh, Shopify store. They give you a description, which is great. 
you can choose the variants that that we that you want to sell. Um, for now, we'll leave all of these on here, and then you can also select the images um, that you want to use for the products. We'll probably also go onto Google and some other places to find some better images um, that are, are available. So now all we need to do is click import to store. And these products should be added to our Shopify store now. So we're going to come back over to our dashboard. And just like that, all the products are the golf nets have been added to the store. Now I'm going to head back on over to Zendrop to see if I can find a few products that I can use as an upsell. So I'm going to be looking for some golf swing trainers or maybe a putting mat, things that customers are going to want to buy along with their, their golf nets so that they can improve their golf game while at home. I quickly found six products that I can add to our Shopify store, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly update them and get them loaded in. Let's quickly check out what one of these product pages looked like that we just created. Okay, so right off the bat, we're definitely going to need to get rid of any logos that appear in the, in the images. Also going to want to probably find some better images online. We're going to update the name, change the pricing. Um, we're going to update the variant, the variant option. It shouldn't say color. Um, so I like the bullets that they gave us, the specs, the sizing, the packaging. Um, I think this is all good, but we can definitely make the product page look a little better. Uh, later on, we're going to add some reviews down here. We'll have the stars populate up here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump in and edit this product page a little bit to get it um, a little bit more optimized for when we start selling. Let's get started editing this product page. So one of the first things that I am going to do is delete these images that I don't like. And then I'm going to use Shopify's built-in Photoshop tool to delete uh, the logo and the, the added text on these images. And now I'm going to update the images that are attached to each variant as well as update the pricing and the variant titles. This is going to create a better shopping experience for our customers. It's going to give them a better idea of what they're shopping for and what they're going to decide on buying. I also went ahead and found some more images online. I went on AliExpress to see what the suppliers on there had, and they had a couple images that I liked. So I downloaded them and added them to Canva so I could crop them, make them look a little better. And now I'm going to add them to the store. It's very easy. All you need to do is drag and drop them just like that. And again, I'm going to rearrange the images the way I want them to appear on the website. So now I went ahead and begin updating the product copy. And one of the first things that I always do is add a catchy headline with a good marketing angle that's gonna grab my customer's attention as soon as they land on the product detail page. So now I have the specifications from Zendrop right there. I'm gonna keep those there and I added in one of the images that I found um, online on AliExpress uh, that was provided by one of the suppliers. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the specifications, but I don't really like how you know this image looks. I don't like that extra red text. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and crop it. Again, Shopify has a tool inside of their their software where you can do it right, right on the platform. makes it really easy to do. Uh, so I went ahead and cropped it, and I'm going to add it in. As you can see, that looks a lot better. got the red text out of there. I'm going to update that to size specification. And now I'm also going to add an image that shows what the package is actually going to include so that customers aren't confused on what they're buying. I decided that I didn't like the text that was inside of the packaging image, so I decided to create some bullet points instead to get that point across. And then I went ahead and used the Shopify tool again to get rid of the text, just like that. So I updated the image. So it took a second to load, so I had to reload the page. I added it back in, and it looks good just like that. And now one thing I always like to add to the bottom of my product pages is a guarantee badge. This one you can find on Google, so just copy and paste it in. And then I always like adding in some text like you see there. And now I'm going through each of these variants and adding a compared price. And so what this is going to do is once customers come to the product page, it's going to look like that there's a discount going on for each of these items. So customers feel like that they're getting a good deal and they're going to go ahead and make a purchase. Now let's take a look at how all the work we just put in translated into a product page. So starting at the top, we can see the compared price here and it's showing a sale because we went ahead and added in that compared price. We changed the variant option to style and now customers can also choose between the different variants and the image is going to change along with the option that they choose. Scrolling down here, we have a catchy headline that pops, um, improve your golf game from the comfort of your home. Then we jump into some bullet points that were pr provided by Zendrop, then an image that we got off AliExpress. Now we have the size specifications there. The packaging, I think that this image looks a lot better than having the text inside of the image. And then scrolling down a little bit more, we have our 30 day money back guarantee, as well as some other products. Um, so for now, this product page is looking pretty decent. Now we're going to go ahead and begin customizing our store. So we're going to head back on over to our dashboard. 
select online store. And now we're going to choose the theme of our website. And the theme is basically the framework that we're going to use to customize the layout of our website. So the current theme that's on the store right now is called debut, which is a pretty good theme. But the one that I'm going to be using for this video is called venture. And it's a free theme that's available um, from Shopify. So the one that I'm going to choose is for the, for the golf store, I'm going to go with the boxing theme. Click the button. And now we're just going to go ahead and let it load. And so now it has successfully been added and we can immediately begin customizing the theme. But what, what I'm going to do first is publish it to our website. So just come down here, click actions and then click publish. And now the venture theme is live on our site and we can go ahead and click the button to begin customizing it. Here is the basic framework of what our website is going to look like before we begin customizing it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come into theme settings and update the colors. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do is change these red colors to green to match the golf, uh, golf color vibe. So I'm going to pick a green that, that I think looks good. I think that one's fine. I'm going to come over here, copy that code, and I'm going to paste the same exact one in here so that everything matches. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. So now we've already updated the basic color pattern of the website. And now we can go in and start modifying the template. Now, looking at the left-hand side of the screen over here, we can see the different sections that currently exist on our store. I like the first three sections um, and how they're laid out. I like having the header first, then the slideshow, then a collection list. I'm going to get rid of the homepage and the image with text. So I'm just going to click on each one and click remove section and then remove section. And then I always like adding with a footer. So for now, I'm going to click save. So this is what the slideshow is going to look like right here. Then we're going to have the collection title. And now I'm going to go in and add a new section. And the one that I am going to add is a gallery. It's basically going to be three images that speak to, you know, what the store is about, which is, which is a golf store. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Then I'm going to come over here and add another section. And this one, I'm going to do a multiple link block. So this is going to uh, basically highlight our top selling products on the store. And then it's going to have links built in that customers can click through to see them. The next uh, section that I'm going to add is a testimonial section. Uh, so if we scroll down here, I see it right here. I'm gonna click so, uh, select and add it. And then the last section that I am going to add is an email newsletter opt-in. So right here, select and then click save. And so now this is gonna be the basic structure of our homepage. We have the header, the slideshow, a collection list, a gallery, a multiple link block, testimonials, a newsletter, and then the footer. So now let's jump in and begin editing uh, the slideshow first. Looking at the left-hand side of the screen over here, the first thing that I'm going to do is remove this second slide, just like that, because I only want one image here that's gonna be stable and not moving back and forth. And now to select the image, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one of the free ones available within Shopify. And they have some really good images available. Um, I like this one a lot, so we're just going to go ahead and select that. And now choosing the header, what I typically do here is whatever the, the name of your store is going to be, that's what I'll put here for now. I'm just going to do uh, YT Golf. Let's say that that's the name of our Shopify store. Now the button label that's going to go under here is going to say Shop Now. And then the link that I want that button to go to will be to All Products. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now the first section, uh, the first slideshow is set up and it's looking really good so far. And now the next step is gonna be to customize the collection list. But in order to do that, we're first gonna have to create a collection. So we're gonna head back into our store. We're gonna go to products and then we're gonna go to collections. And I'm gonna get rid of the ones that are currently in here, uh, mainly because they don't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm gonna delete those. And now I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to name it S Sellers. And then I'm going to choose to manually pull them in and then click Save. And so now I'm going to go back to all the products that I have. I'm going to select them all, click More Actions. Then I'm going to go to Add to Collections, Best Sellers, and Save. And now when I go back into the collections, into my Best Sellers one, I can choose which ones I want to show first. So I like, I definitely want the one of the, the putting mat to show up. 
So I think this is a good order. Golf practice net, one of the trainers, the putting mat, another trainer, and then some of the other products. So now that we have the collection set up, we can head on back on over to our theme and go back to customizing it. And since we decided to only have one collection on our store, I'm gonna get rid of this section and instead do a featured collection uh, section. So I'm gonna select that and move this one up here. And then I'm gonna, gonna get rid of the uh, collection list. Now, if we were adding more products uh, to the website and we wanted to create you know, multiple uh, collections for different product categories, then you know we can go ahead and keep that original one. But I think that having one one list on this store, uh, one collection on this store is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be better. So I only want to have one row here, and now I'm going to go ahead and select the collection, and that's going to be the best sellers. Select and then click save. And so now let's go ahead and take a quick look at how it's starting to shake out. So we have the slideshow right here, and then the featured collection. Things are starting to come together. Now let's go ahead and update the gallery. So for the gallery, all we're gonna be doing is selecting a couple cool images that are available, again, within Shopify. And these can really be anything that you want. And so the first one that I'm gonna pick are the golf balls. And I'm gonna come back over and choose the second one. Again, same exact process. I'm gonna choose this guy getting ready to swing. And then I'm gonna choose one more. Again, don't you don't really have to think too much about this, but you do want it to look good. So I, I suggest spending a little bit more time on it than I'm doing here. Uh, then I like the let's see, I like the golf cart. And click save. So now we have our gallery set up. So again, going through the store right now, the slideshow, the featured collection, and then the gallery. So now we can go ahead and begin updating the multiple link blocks. So the first step again is going to be uh, choosing some more images. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and search for golf. And then I'm gonna select this image. And now I am going to change the link label to something related to the, the golf nets that we're gonna be selling on the store. So I'm just gonna go ahead and title this one, Perfect Your Swing. And now the link that I'm gonna choose is for the indoor outdoor golf practice net. Just like that, go ahead and click save. And now I'm gonna go ahead and update the second link block again, choosing another free image. I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy. And I think that this one I'm gonna have um, connect to the putty mat that we have. So I'm gonna name it something like birdie putts only. And then for the image link, I'm gonna have it's uh, go to the, let's see, which one is it? The accurate golf putting mat, just like that. Click save. And so now anytime somebody clicks through these images right here, they're gonna go to uh, the corresponding product page. So now our store is really starting to come together. Let's take another quick look. Now the next step is going to be to update this testimonial section. To get started, I'm gonna update this headline and I don't want it to say just testimonials. Instead, we're gonna have it say, don't just take our word for it. And then for the quotes, you can either write your own or you can use some of the ones that we're gonna pull in using the Luke's app from the AliExpress suppliers. So that's good to go. Sometimes I like adding uh, at least three, four or five quotes here. It really helps to build the social proof on the store. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, good to go. The next uh, section that we're gonna set up is the, the newsletter. So again, I'm gonna change this heading to something like, want discount, something that's a little bit more enticing that's gonna get uh, customers to input their name and email address. Uh, let's go change this up a little bit too. Directly to your inbox. Boom. So now those two sections are both set up as well. Let's go ahead and check out our homepage. So we're gonna go ahead and create a logo. We'll add that in just a little bit here. Everything's looking good to go. You know, this is set up looking nice. The footer menu's good. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and get rid of this follow us section, remove it just like that. We're gonna go ahead and add in a newsletter instead. And we're just gonna go ahead and update this section right here. I think it's gonna look a little bit better like this. Perfect, go ahead and click save. 
So now we have the footer menu and then another newsletter right here, be in the know. Now the home page looks good to go. And now let's start creating the logo that we're gonna use for our store. And before we jump over to Canva to get started, we wanna have this page available so that we can use the exact color codes um, inside Canva so that our logo uh, you know, is fully aligned with the color scheme that we have on our store. So when I come over to Canva, I'm gonna choose uh, Creative Design and then Instagram Post. Now for the background, I'm gonna be sure that I use this exact color that is being used up here. So I'm just gonna come and grab the code. Now I'm gonna update the background color by pasting in the code right there. All right, so that's good to go. Now I'm gonna select an element uh, for our logo. I'm gonna choose golf. Uh, let's see here, I like, uh, I like this guy right here. I'm gonna make him white, put him over here. Then I'm gonna choose the text. Now the name of our store is gonna be YT Golf. I'm gonna make this text look a little bit different. Uh, let's go, let's go with Russo. I think that's a little bit uh, better looking option. Make this a little bit bigger. I think I'm gonna make this guy the same green that's on my store. So I'm gonna come over here, copy this code. Come back over to Canva and change the color. Just like that. Just gonna make this a little bit bigger. See how we like that. Okay, I think that looks good to go. So now we're gonna want to download it and then we're gonna to wanna to make a transparent background. So I'm just gonna go over to Google and type in transparent background. I like remove.bg. And then I'm going to upload the image here. Okay, so now we have a transparent background and now I'm gonna to want to crop this. So I open it up hit the crop button. Gonna make it just like that is perfect. So I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna X out of here and I'm gonna head back on over to the store. And now I'm gonna go to, let's see, theme style. No, not theme style. Get out of here, get out of here. I'm gonna go to the header and now I'm gonna add in the logo uh, right up here. So select image, upload, go to downloads where I just had the image. So it's pretty big right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller, Let's make it 250. All right, that's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So now I'm also gonna go ahead and add an announcement bar up here. I'm gonna have it say free worldwide shipping. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a link to our best selling product on here, which is gonna be the golf practice net. Go ahead and click save, get out of here. And now the store is really starting to come together. But one thing I wanted to update really quickly is this slideshow right here. I don't want it to say YT golf and YT golf back to back. So instead I'm gonna add something a little bit more catchy and for golfers, I think that's gonna be a bit more fairways because hopefully if they're using the golf nets at home, they, you know, their swing gets better and they're able to, uh, you know, hit more balls on the fairway, and, you know, get a better score. So another thing that I wanna update really quickly is I wanna switch uh, these two sections around. I wanna move the testimonials up and then the multiple link blocks down. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now this is what our homepage is gonna look like. I think it looks great. I think it's ready to sell. And now we can go ahead and begin adding some apps to the store. So we're gonna head back on over to our Shopify dashboard and then we'll click apps right here. And then we'll head on over to the Shopify app store. Now, once this loads, the first app that we are going to be adding is Luke's. And Luke's is a photo review app and it's gonna allow us to pull photo reviews from AliExpress from the same product that uh, you know Zendrop is selling. It's the same product that the AliExpress suppliers are selling. So we're able to pull those, those photo reviews from there and add them to our product pages. 
So let's go ahead and click add app. We'll scroll down a little bit and click install app. Once you've chosen your plan and signed up for your free trial, let me show you just how easy this app is to use. So from the dashboard, we're gonna click import reviews and we're gonna grab this button and we're gonna drag it to our bookmark bar. And once we do that, we're gonna head on over to AliExpress. We're gonna find a supplier who is selling uh, the same product. So we're gonna look for uh, the golf net. And once we find one, I usually like to filter by the number of orders. So we found this one right here. Now, all we need to do is click that button that we just put up here, import to the products. So we're gonna choose the product. You can choose however many reviews you want it to scan. I'm gonna do 100. Choose the ratings, five stars and up. I'm gonna leave that at all countries and translate it to English. And then I'm only gonna choose reviews that have photos. So now I'm gonna click preview and import. Now you can go through these, these uh, reviews one by one. You can choose to import the text, not import the text, and you can pick which image that you wanna import. And I typically like to have around 50 reviews on each product page, but for this video, I'm only gonna add a few just like that. So now let's head back on over to the store and check out what the product pages look like now. So I'll preview it right here. And as you can see, the, the stars are already, or the reviews are already starting to populate on the, the product page. Come back over here, we'll scroll down to the bottom and all of the photo reviews appear right there. So what you should do next is go on and use the Luke's app to add reviews to all the products on your store. Um, again, you wanna add you know, anywhere from 30 to 50 uh, four or five star reviews so that you start to build that social proof on your website. So now let's head back on over to the Shopify app store to download the next app. The next app that we're going to add is called Upsell Kit. And this is gonna help you increase your average order value by providing customers with bundle options or upsell options once they add a product to the cart. This is also the easiest one to use in it, and it's really the best deal. It's only $8 a month. Some of the other apps on here that do the same thing are a lot more expensive. Uh, so go ahead and click the add app button and then install the app. Now, once this loads, so we, we have the option now to do product bundles, uh, upsells, cross sells, uh, to get started, let's let's create our first upsell. So I'm going to create an offer. And since I think that the main product on this store is going to be the golf net, and we, we're going to be um, driving the most traffic to this page, we're going to want to uh, create some upsells on this product page. So I have it set anytime a customer adds any one of the variants to the cart, they're going to get an upsell for, let's do the... Uh, putting mat just like that and now we'll give them say like a 20 percent off discount so i like the, the default setting uh the default default title is uh pretty good you may also like dot 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 you could also do something a little bit more creative than that um we'll have an add to cart button and now just go ahead and click enabled and then create offer and then yes, enable. All right, so this looks pretty good. Let's go back to our store and see if we can um, preview it. So now I'm gonna scroll down and go to the Golf Practice Net product page. And when I add this product to the cart, we should see the upsell appear right here, just like that. And now a customer will see, okay, they wanna get the putting mat too at 20% off, it's a good deal, they'll add it to their cart. And just like that, you know, you increased your average order value. So this, is, this app is really gonna help you make a lot of money and for eight bucks a month, it's totally worth it. Um, I would go ahead and play around with some of the other options. Uh, they all work the exact same way in, how, in, in terms of how you choose which products that you're going to add. Um, you can do bundles, you can cross sell, you can do upsells. Um, so go ahead and play around with that. Um, th again, this is a really good app to use, highly recommend it. So now we'll go back over to the uh, Shopify app store again and download the next app. Now the next app that I'm going to be downloading is called Spin the Wheel. This is an email pop-up app that's going to do two things. It's going to help you accelerate sales, and it's also going to help you quickly uh, grow an email list, which is going to also increase the lifetime value of each customer because over time you can send uh, these customers emails to, to new deals. You can send them discount codes. You can send them coupons. You can keep them updated with your brand. And over time, it's going to help you build a, a stronger customer base. So we're going to go ahead and click Add App. Scroll down and choose Install App. 
Now, there's a few different styles that you can choose from, but I'm going to choose the first one, the spin the wheel game. So now the very first thing that we are going to do is update the color scheme on this on this wheel. And we want to we want it to match the same um, color pattern that we have on our store. So to grab that color wave, remember, we're going to come back over to our store. We're going to begin customizing our theme. So click customize and then we're going to come down to the theme settings, colors, and we'll click on the color and then grab the code right here. We'll head back on over to the spin the wheel app and then we're going to input that that code right here and then we're going to select colorize wheel and so now the wheel is going to be uh, in the same color color pattern that um it would be on on our store so it's going to match the same colors that we have in our store now i'm going to go ahead and upload our logo so i quickly went ahead and went into canva and just redid it a little bit so now it's a circle instead of a square and one last thing that i want to change is the the shadow that's behind the button so now I'm going to go and grab that color code again, which is this one. Come back up here and change that button shadow, just like that. So now, if if we want to play around, we can upgrade the text. Um, but you know, I like I like the default text as is. Um, what now? I'm going to go ahead and change the gravity of the chance of the different uh, size coupons that people are going to get. Typically, I like to make the largest ones and the smallest ones have the least chance of uh, a customer getting them. And I like the median one, so like the 10% off to have the best chance. So the easiest way to do this is just move the 10% off coupons up to like 30. And just like that, they have a 30% chance of, of getting of winning the 10% code and a 10% chance of winning any of the other codes. Um, so now moving down to the settings. So how do we want, uh, when, when do we want this wheel to display? So under the following conditions, when the user is leaving the site, we want this to pop up. When the user reaches 100% of the page, I'm going to make this 50% of the page, and I'm going to make it five seconds so that customers uh, have are they're more likely to see this wheel and uh, put in their email and uh, you know get the discount. And of course, if they get the discount, then they're going to be more like more likely to purchase. So it's going to be a win-win for us. Um, so how many times? Uh, no more than once per day per user. We don't want to spam them with this wheel. Scrolling down a little bit more. After these perform the after showing at one time, that looks good. Yep, we want it to show it across all devices. Looks good, good, good. Um, we don't need this tag here. We can take that off. Um, and I'm going to take the countdown timer off as well because I think that looks a little spammy. Okay, so now this game is all set up. I'm going to go ahead and select the create game button. Congratulations, it's been set up. And so now let's go ahead and check out how it looks on the site. So we're going to come back over here, go to the site, preview it. And now it's either going to take five seconds or we have to scroll through 50% of the page. So here it is. Now a customer is going to input their email address. Ecomcon.com. And now when they spin the wheel, they're going to win a coupon code. So let's see which one I got here. 10% off. I can apply my discount. And now anytime I add a product to my cart, the 10% off discount code is automatically going to be applied um, at checkout. So that's how the app works. It's really good. Um, if we want to go back into the app, we can check out some of the analytics here. It's going to show you total impressions, total emails captured. And when you want to go ahead and download the, that email list, you can download an Excel file right here. It's going to tell you when they signed up. It's going to give you their email address, their name, um, you know, data that, that you can use to... Um, to send out offers uh, down the road. So that is the woohoo uh, spin the wheel game. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to the app store and add my favorite app. And I already have a full step-by-step -step tutorial for this app on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to go ahead and do another quick one anyway. So it's called SMS bump. And what it's going to allow you to do is send a text message to customers who sign up with a discount code anytime they abandon their cart. So we're going to go ahead and add this app. Uh, let's see. Scroll down, install app. And if you check out the, my other video, I mean, it's insane the return that you get. Uh, so before we jump in and start building out the campaigns, I want to answer two questions that I always get related to this app. The first one being, is it legal? <laughs> and the answer is yes. Text message marketing is completely legal as long as you follow the TCPA and GDPR compliance guidelines. Now, in my other video on my channel, I go a lot more into detail about it than I'm going to do here. 
Um, so I'll, I'll link that video to the end of this one so you can go ahead and watch that. And the second video is, do customers see your phone number? And the answer is no. SMS bump randomly generates uh, phone numbers that they use to text customers. So customers will never find out uh, your phone number, so you don't have to ever worry about that. So now let's go ahead and jump into uh, building out this campaign. So now let me show you how easy it is to get this abandoned cart flow up and running so that you can begin making even more money on your store. So we're going to have this first one set to a five minute delay. We're going to come down here and change this to five minutes. That's the quickest that you can send out a, a text using this app. And so we're going to go ahead and use that one. So you can attach an image or a GIF if you'd like, but I usually don't. I think it works just, just fine without one. Um, so now looking at the message, I wouldn't edit any of this text. I think that it, it works really well. So it would say, hey, Bruce, we noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. If you're ready to complete your order, get it now with 10% with off. And then it'll automatically send them directly back to their cart with the 10% discount code automatically applied. So add a unique discount code. We're going to leave that checked and then add stop to opt out. We're going to also leave that checked because that's part of the compliance that we need uh, for this all to work. So go ahead and click save. And then once you save it, go ahead and turn it on. And so now that one is good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and do a second one. And this one, I'm just going to change it to uh, one hour. So now instead of five minutes of receiving the text, they're going to receive it one hour after they abandon their cart. And now the second one, if you want to uh, leave the GIF, I think I think it's a good idea because now you're, it, you're switching it up a little bit. It's not the same text going back out. Uh, in terms of the actual text message, hey, Bruce, did you forget something? Your card is almost expired. Use the code to get 10% off. Again, it's going to send them uh, a link to their, to their uh, cart. And the discount code is automatically going to be applied. We're going to leave the discount. Uh, we're going to keep it unique. And then we're going to add um, the stop opt out as well. So go ahead and click save. And turn it on. And just like that, our SMS bump uh, text messages marketing uh, abandoned cart flow has been set up and it's ready to go, ready to start cooking, ready to start making money. And again, I'm going to have the link to the full tutorial at the end of this video so that you can set up all the compliance stuff uh, properly. And you'll see how, how powerful this app is. I show you in the beginning, we spent about $100 to make back $20,000 in a single month using this app. So it's very powerful. And again, that's why it's one of my favorite apps. And if you made it to this part of the video, I have a surprise for you because I actually ran a Facebook ad campaign for this golf practice net about a year ago and it did really well. So let me take you into that ad account to show you the exact interest that did really well and how we had the campaign set up. Going behind the scenes here of my ad account, you can see that I spent about $900 to make back almost $8,000 in sales for an average ROAS of an 8.82. That's pretty crazy. This product did really well. Now taking a look at some of the interests over here that did really well, I have it filtered by the ones that have the most purchases. Golf Club did well, PGA Tour, Golf Course, Masters Tournament, Golf Ball, Golf Channel, Golf Magazine. Um, and you can see the rest, they're all related to golf. And each ad set had a $5 per day budget. And when I first created the campaign, it only had seven ad sets, each one targeting a single interest. So it was running at about a $35 per day ad spend. And what I would do about every three days or so, I would go in and turn off the the poor performing ad sets, and I would also create a new ad set targeting a new single interest. And I was targeting pretty much the main countries. I know it says worldwide here, but I was targeting countries like the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, uh, pretty much all of Europe. Um, I wasn't targeting any countries in South America or any of the uh, other low poor traffic areas. Um, and I was also using image ads. So I wasn't even using video ads for this campaign. So if you wanted to go ahead and test that pro uh, this product, that would be the strategy that I recommend uh, going with. And that's a wrap for this video. If you got any value at all, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want some free one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I'm going to put a link to my Discord channel in the description beneath this video. So come join us there. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.